How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, in another episode of Trump Talk. You know, I got a little sticker here. And it says Inspector Number 11, or actually Examiner Number 11. And you can see that. And you got to examine everything you hear and see on the Internet. And we have Jeb Bush with Megyn Kelly, the evil Megyn Kelly. And here... Sarah Palin endorses Donald Trump and goes after the GOP establishment. And then I want to know what the hell Jeb Bush is smoking because Jeb Bush thinks he's second in the polls. I looked at every poll out there and the best Bush does is 12% and the worst he does is 4%. He's 8 or 9% in the polls. Uh, Donald Trump... 35% ahead of everybody. So where does Jeb Bush think he's second? Now let's watch this for a minute. in Iowa just a short time ago, endorsing the Donald and taking swipes at both the GOP at large and likely a few candidates in particular, all in the same breath. Joining me now, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, a Republican candidate for president. Governor, great to see you. So your reaction to not, to not winning the Sarah Palin endorsement? Well, I respect her. Uh, we share a common belief in the sanctity of life and the rights of the disabled. We've worked together on those issues, and I respect her for that. But I think the voters in Iowa and New Hampshire and primary voters in general are going to want to know who can beat Hillary Clinton? And I have a proven record and detailed plans, conservative plans, to be able to lay out an agenda that could transform our country's uh, Washington, D.C., and transform uh, our country in terms of high economic growth and she, keeping us safe. She's and so in a different wing of the I'm party. Excited that we she, have, she's over in sort of that more Tea Party wing. I have, uh, I have 11 Medal of Honor recipients supporting me, 30 admirals and generals. They're not supporting me because I'm an establishment or Tea Party. They don't view it that way. They view me as a solid person that could be a commander-in-chief and have the back of the armed forces. We're gutting the military. We don't have a strategy to deal with ISIS. Uh, I've laid out that plan to do it, and that's why they're supporting me. And while I respect Sarah Palin, I don't think Donald Trump has the judgment uh, or the ideas to keep us safe. Now, are you, are you surprised she went for Trump, given you say that you work on disabilities together? She has a son, of course, who has Down syndrome. You just released an ad last week hitting Trump for what appeared to be his mocking of a New York Times reporter uh, who has a birth defect, uh, calling him a jerk. Yeah. You're calling Trump a jerk and found some Iowans who feel the same because they have children with disabilities. Are you su surprised to see, see the endorsement in light of that? By the way, Trump yeah, I don't, he was doing it. I don't think <laughs> he's on video just doing it. It's not a question of that he didn't do it. The simple fact is you can't disparage your way, uh, insult your way to the presidency. He's not going to beat Hillary Clinton. And uh, what we need to do is have a candidate that actually has a proven record. And my record is the most conservative record on the stage in terms of a proven record, not just talking about it, but actually doing it. And that's the message that I take to voters in Iowa and New Hampshire tonight. I'm, I'm uh, finishing up some campaigning, and I'll be here for four days. And it's resonating. And you can see it uh, slowly but surely. The polls are, are, are moving in my favor. Well, let's talk about that. You know, the, just a quick scan of the latest poll shows that you're in sixth. Sixth in the Real Clear Politics Average, sixth in the Des Moines Register latest poll out of Iowa, and sixth in the latest poll out of New Hampshire, too. Um, no, no, that's not true. All right, so what, so what are you seeing? We're in a, well, the last poll I saw showed us in second place. It basically, it's a jump ball for second place with four or five candidates. In, uh, in New Hampshire? I was third place in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Megan, I don't know. I don't know where you're getting these polls, but the simple fact is we have the best ground game here. Uh, the, I'm uh, connecting with voters, and we're making we're making really good progress because I have a proven record American and I have detailed plans, and I can show it. 
Here it is, American, group, American it is. Research Group, you're sick. I only look at the polls that show me doing well. That's, that's, that's my that's strategy. Stay positive. <laughs> <laughs> the power of positive thinking. I believe in that, too. <laughs> Okay, that, uh, you gotta you gotta believe in that. So do you? I play that because Jeb Bush is full of it. I looked at the American Research poll; he's got eight or nine percent. I looked at every poll out there I could find. The only one I couldn't find exact data for is a Rasmussen poll. I don't, couldn't find out how to find out who who they think is going to be winning in New Hampshire and Iowa. Normally, I could the last two elections, but Jeb Bush thinks he's in second place and thinks he's a leading conservative, well, the most conservative guy running is probably Ted Cruz. It sure is how he, Mark El Rubio, and Trump thinks he's a conservative. He's changed his positions over the years, but I don't have a problem with him. I think he'd do a good job. I think Jeb Bush will lie and cheat and spend and throw up his admirals and throw up anybody else he can to make the voters think that he's the man. Gullible voters who don't know any better. Gullible voters who don't do any research. Low information voters out there. Jeb Bush, quit lying. Quit being Pinocchio. And quit going on the Kelly file. Now, they're going to have another Fox debate soon. Kelly's going to be moderating it. So we'll see how fair and balanced she is. Because she wasn't fair and balanced to Trump in the first debate. And he completely went after her. With good reason. I wouldn't trust Megyn Kelly. Give me the time of day. All right. That's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, Jeb Bush, no. I wouldn't trust Jeb Bush either. He's a liar. The polls show it. Go out there and look for yourself. Look at every poll out there, presidential poll. He's not in second place. He's in like sixth. Eight, nine percent highest he gets his twelve, lowest he gets his New Hampshire is four by a newspaper. So I don't believe what these guys are saying all the time. They're the best and they're the greatest and they're in second place because I saw it. He ain't in no second place. That's Ted Cruz. All right. Have a good morning. I'll catch you next time. I am going back to bed if I can. See you later. Bye-bye.